Okay. Hello, everybody. Are we live? I am connecting from Facebook directly on my computer. Hopefully, um, we will have you guys. Yay, Anna. <laughs> okay. I am really embarrassed, you guys. I am. Uh, we're back. Okay. We're officially back. Um, I've tried through three different devices now. I'm back on my computer, and hopefully we can continue on with this live stream because we may have to schedule, reschedule if this goes if this goes off. But for now, we're back. Thank you so much for being patient with me. Thank you so much for supporting us and leaving in us. And I will get back to showing you the Dreamer canvases. But for all of those who have not been with me through the past half an hour trying to figure out how to do this live stream, I want to just reintroduce it and tell you guys all that today's live stream is about how to frame your diamond painting. My name is Kaylin. I am the brand ambassador for Dreamer Designs, and I run these live streams. Usually I run them a bit better than this, but <laughs> I run these live streams every Sunday night and Thursday night. So I hope that you will tune in again and um, keep watching these videos. So I was showing you guys our finished canvases. So I will go ahead and show you our grumpy cat design once again. Um, and these are our full drill diamond canvases. You can see, hopefully you can see, because this is a different camera as well that I was just using about five minutes ago. So this is our grumpy cat design. You can see all of the details here. Thank you all for your kind comments. So if you take a look, this is our design by Sagittarius Gallery. Um, you can find her on our Instagram page. This is the large design. So this is 40 centimeters by 50 centimeters, or you could also say 16 inches by 20 inches. So this is portrait, which means it's going hot dog ways, not hamburger ways. I don't know if you know that expression, but it's going up and down versus side to side. So it goes up and down. Let me see if I can see some of your comments. I know this is definitely one of the favorites of our designs. So we wanted to show you a completed version of this. This is inspired by Van Gogh. So this artist um, creates the Van Gogh renditions of her cute pets. So we also have a Corgi Knights. Um, Van Gogh style, we have Never Saw Golden Gate, um, lots of different artist designs that are in similar style to the Starry Night of Van Gogh. So you can see how the sparkles and shininess are coming through on the, ca on the camera. See how it's sparkling up close. You can see his eyes, big blue eyes, his grumpy face. <laughs> This is one of my favorites. These cats are adorable. I love that it's not a lot of color blocking. Oh, thank you. You can see the texture of the paint. Yeah, you actually can. You really can. So you can see the texture of the paint. The texture comes through. Um, the way that the diamonds are color coded and vibrant is so nice. Um, we definitely love this one here at Dreamer's Lines, that's for sure. So here you can see. Beautiful. So now I've shown you the grumpy cat. I want to take a moment to show you the Aurora Wolf Love. And then I think what I'll do is I'll frame the grumpy cat design for you guys. So here we have the Aurora Wolf Love. It's very, very sparkly, very blue. Sorry, the green's not coming up as nicely on camera. This is actually a lot more, the camera isn't really showing the color as, as well as 
it is in person. So this is actually a lot more um, teal green up here. This shows a lot more teal green, more so um, you can see, see the rendition in our Instagram page. So this is actually a lot more vibrant than it's showing up on camera, but you can get a good idea of the amount of sparkle and shine that you can see with it. It is beautiful. Let me just read your comments. Yeah. So you can see this beautiful mountain in the foreground, sorry, in the background, the beautiful wolves that are kind of like an orangey gray tone. And up here is the Aurora sky, the Aurora Borealis sky. So like I was saying, there is lots of different ways that you can frame your diamond painting. So you can get the first option, which is buying a custom frame on someplace like um, Amazon, like Amazon or any other specialty custom framing websites. That is a bit pricey, um, but then at least you know that the canvas will fit perfectly into the frame and you won't have to worry about that as much. Um, the other way is to go to somewhere like Michael's, um, Walmart, Staples and have them frame it. They can do it. Or you can go to those same craft store supplies. Um, I got the frame that I'm using today from Walmart. It was $29.99 and it looks like this. So I got this from Walmart. It's quite heavy. It's, um, I think it's glass, but it could be acrylic. Um, so I got this one. This one is from Walmart. It's the perfect dimension. So it's 16 inches by 20 inches. So it's perfect. I actually did go, um, I had to go to Walmart twice because the first canvas sorry the first frame that I picked up was very wide here and then when I brought it home I realized that the design wasn't actually going to show um, within the actual frame opening it was going to be cut off by the thick frame edges so that wasn't going to be great for us so I had to go and return it um, but then I picked up this one it has a thinner frame edge so it's perfect for these designs. I've kind of pre-measured it now going forward. So I will be using this one. But then if you are on a budget or if you want to get a little bit more creative framing your diamond painting, you can also go to a craft store supply and get, pick up an artist canvas. So that's going to be probably the cheapest. It's also going to be the most crafty um, and the most DIY sort of project. So what you can do with that is find an artist canvas that um, you can find the closest dimensions to the diamond painting, cut out the diamond painting, glue it onto the canvas, and then paint the canvas whatever color you want on the edges. Um, another note that we can make about framing your diamond painting is when you get a canvas like this, if you can't find a canvas that is the right dimension, you can get something that's slightly larger and actually put um, like kind of like this shows like this big white chunk, you can put like a ribbon or washi tape around the edges so that you are able to um, fill it in. Yeah, so 16 by 20 inch um, is actually a pretty relatively normal frame size. So it won't be too hard to find something from our um, canvases. Um, I noticed that a lot of the time online, you can find um, designs, diamond paint canvases that are very random dimensions and they become a lot harder to frame. But this 16 by 20 canvas is actually very easy to sort out a uh, frame for. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the cardboard wrapping here. It is just taped on the edges. So I've got to take these things off. And then I will adjust the camera a bit to show you more. Are you guys all still there? Okay, so this is the canvas with the cardboard off of it.
Yes, yeah, so Kathleen, you say if you want a cheaper frame, you can get coupons from Michaels or AC Moore and use a 50 or 60% off coupon. So that's how Kathleen gets her frames. Um, and she, that she must be getting a great deal. So this was $29.99 at Walmart. So I'm pretty happy with it. So now I have to take the canvas and hold it up next to the frame. So there is quite a bit of canvas sticking out from the frame. So I'm gonna take the backing, I'm gonna take the backing off of the frame so that I can hold it up to the canvas and measure it out properly. So you're gonna need a ruler, you're gonna need a pen and some scissors. So I'm just gone and taking the back off of the frame. <clears throat> Let me just put the frame down. And then I'm gonna hold up my Grumpy Cat canvas and the backing of the frame. So if I see, so here is the edge of the diamonds held up to the edge of the canvas. So it fits pretty much perfectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take a ruler here and I'm just going to cut along, actually I'm not sure that I'm going to use a ruler because it's so close, because the frame is so close in size. What I'm gonna do is just take about um, a centimeter from the border of the canvas. It's probably gonna stick out a little bit, but I don't mind at the end. So I'm just going to be cutting along the canvas about a centimeter out of it. So you're gonna definitely need some sharp scissors to do this with you. Let me know in the comments, how many of you guys actually frame your paintings? I'd love to know while I cut the border of this. So I'll cut one side and then I'll pick it up and I'll show you how much I cut off. So it's important you have sharp scissors. These scissors that I'm using right now aren't that sharp, but they are definitely doing the job. So that's all that matters. Let me know how your guys' weekend was. I'd love to know. Okay. Yes, Kim, thrift store. That's perfect. It's definitely another option. So I've actually gone along and cut off about an inch, maybe an inch and a corner off of the canvas edge. So I will hold this up and show you. I've cut off just about a centimeter. I'm gonna do that for all four sides. I use a level with a straight blade. Yeah, that's a good idea. Anna, you frame most of yours. Particle board is your go-to because of your sizes. Yeah, definitely. This canvas is thick, you guys. <laughs> This is not a flimsy canvas. This is a sturdy canvas. It takes a lot to cut into it. It's a good sign though. So my apologies if I sound a bit flustered. We have been so busy with Dreamer Designs and tonight's live stream is a bit, bit tough to get started, so. I hope you are sticking along with me. So I'm doing my third edge. I'm doing the bottom right now. I'm just cutting off the bottom part. Oops. I can, actually, I can show you. There, so I'm cutting this edge here. This edge here. Sorry about the mess down there. I have a few kits. All right, so 
All four sides are cut off now. Thanks for all the comments. So it is now about a centimeter off of each side. That was extremely easy. Now all I'm gonna do is hold up the backing to the frame. Let's see how well that fits. Okay. So that is quite close. There's just a light edge. Let me see if I can just shove it into the frame here. So here I have my frame. I'm going to take off the foamy part. Also going to take off the image that it comes with and this border. And I'm going to stick the diamond canvas on top. Ooh, it's staticky. Just fitting it on. It's a bit too much, so I'm going to cut off a little bit more from the sides. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I am quite flustered right now, actually. So um, <laughs> I'm usually very well prepared, but since the internet issues today happen, it's gotten me quite... Um, quite flustered and <laughs> uncomfortable, so I hope this is all right. I'm gonna cut out, actually, because so much of the canvas was sticking out, I'm gonna cut it right down to the actual beads. I feel confident that it's gonna fit perfectly because it is a 16 by 20 canvas. So at first, I didn't wanna cut it off directly because I wanted to at least measure it up closer to the frame to get a better idea of how close it really was. So now I'm going right up to the edge of the canvas here, not leaving any, any canvas left from the sides. The thing with DIY projects is that you can kind of just go along with your gut feeling on it. Sometimes they won't turn out, sometimes they will. But I'm thinking because the standard size of this canvas is so perfectly matched to the frame that I have here that it won't be an issue. Let me just read. Thanks for all your kind comments. I think I should I think I should be doing some diamond painting after this. Kind of rest and relax. Stress free. Okay. I'm almost done. Just have one more side after this one. I'm really excited to see this canvas in the frame though. We just posted um, a photo on our Instagram of one of our designs. It's getting a lot of love. It's the San Juan, San Juan Canyon. Um, and it's a bright blue mountain landscape with um, some trees and some greenery on it. And everyone seemed to love that one. You loved it too, Miss Coffee, so I'm happy about that. We are currently changing our watermark on our designs for our social media pages to show the sorry okay here it is completely cut out very nice and clean very pretty
Yeah, you guys would be scared to cut it so close, right? <laughs> but I will show you right now that it is perfectly fine. Wow, it fits completely perfectly, you guys. I am so excited. Okay, so now I fit the, oh my God, it looks so good. Okay, so now I fit it into the canvas. I'm gonna use these little um, pins here to help it stick in. I am so excited to show you this, you guys. We will have a blog post that will go step by step into instructions um, for framing your canvases. So if I'm not doing a good job of showing you along, then you will be able to. Okay. Let me just check. Okay. Are you guys ready? Ta -da! It looks so good. Oh my goodness. Did you see how close I caught up to that diamond painting? You can't even tell. It fits completely perfectly in this. So what you can do is you can then hang it up on the wall. Maybe I'll try to get, oh, that looks beautiful. I'm gonna try to get this put up on my wall here. I don't have a nail with me right now. I'm gonna have to get some help with that, but this is what it looks like framed and put on the canvas. <clears throat> this is a glass, this is a glass um, covering. So you can still see the sparkle and shine. Beautiful. So I encourage you to look out for our blog post um, regarding how to frame your canvas as soon as our website launches. So there'll be a couple blog posts to catch up on by then. And um, we so look forward to seeing everybody. We have 20 different artist designs available on our website. So each one of those designs, one comes with um, the 12 by 16 inches and the other one is 16 by 20 inches. So <clears throat> this is the 16 by 20. This is what it looks like. This is gorgeous. I can't even believe this. So this is, yeah, like I was saying, this is the 16 by 20. There's 20 designs. And for when we launch, there will be only 125 of each design of each size. So you will want to keep your eye out for your favorite design so that when launch day comes, you can be on the website at 1 p.m. and make your purchase, make your order before the favorite designs sell out. He is so cute, isn't he? Hi, Ginger. So we're doing great. We have just framed this beautiful diamond painting of our grumpy cat design by Sagittarius Gallery. It is gorgeous. I cannot wait to hang it up. <clears throat> I got this frame. Once again, I got it from Walmart. It was $29.99. It's a perfectly affordable price. It fits perfectly. I literally cut down to the edge of the diamond painting. So you know that this dimension is pretty pretty common in store and you should be able to find a frame pretty easily that fits perfectly with barely any effort. So I took about 10 minutes to do this <laughs> despite my, um... so all of our designs will actually be posted on our Instagram page for right now. You can also probably see them in our Facebook page in our photo album. So if you check it out on our Facebook page, you will be able to see um, sorry, our Instagram page, we have a highlight entitled Our Designs, so you'll be able to see the designs that we have available there. Yes, Gina, he can be my guardian while I live stream. I think I'm going to hang, hang him up right behind me here. That would be awesome. <laughs> he can fight the technology trolls. <laughs> So true. Okay, that is such a good idea. <laughs> Amanda, unfortunately, we are not going to be offering custom orders because it is not in our business model to um, 
take too long to supply our customers with the orders that they want and customs would just take way too long to send them to our factory get them made up do them send them back it would just take way way too long and we do that's just not in our business model the fact that we have a warehousing warehousing and shipping facility in the United States just goes to show how important it is to get you your canvases as soon as possible with no long wait times like you would from um, stores like AliExpress and Amazon and stuff. Website is open in 10 days. Yep. Woohoo. So yes, this is the finished framed painting. Um, you're still able to see the detail in the design. You can see the drills and the sparkle. Um, so stay tuned for any more information about these live streams because I think that we may be doing, um, we may be transitioning from doing the live streams at the same time on YouTube and Facebook to just doing them on Facebook. Um, so far, out of everything that I've tried, this seems to be the best way um, to this seems to be the best way to be showing you guys and streaming for you guys. So I think we may just have to continue doing this way. So with that being said, we have some ambassadors asking about their kits. So we will be reaching out to you in the next couple days and getting your design preference and also confirming with you that we are sending your kits your way. We hope to get them to you as soon as possible and um, definitely before launch so that you guys can get online and start trying them out. Um, that is all for today's live stream. I want to really thank you so much for your patience and understanding in this technological difficulties that we've been having. I want to encourage you to frame your diamond paintings and hang them with pride. You guys work a lot, a lot, lot, lot of hours to get this finished product and it is so worth it. It comes out so beautifully and all of your guests at your house can admire your work. Another great idea is to frame your canvas and also um, gift them. So this would be an incredible gift to give someone who loves grumpy cat, who love cats. Um, and we have a design made for everyone. So when you finish your canvas, this would be a beautiful, beautiful gift for someone. That is all for today. I want to thank you so much for tuning in and I hope to see you on our next live stream, which will be on Thursday. Thanks again, and um, 1 p.m. Eastern or Pacific? I think it is Pacific, but if you go to www.germandesigns.com, it should say um, if it's Pacific time or Eastern time. Let's see if there's any more questions. Eastern, okay, Karen answered, great. Thanks so much, Alicia. Thanks everyone for tuning in. I had a great time, and I will see you on Thursday. For now, paint with passion. Bye.